now we're going to show you how to replace the foam ring for the sound head assembly for the true tone electrolarynx and also the solo tone. We have three components that make up your sound head. We have our body cap, which is the external cavity of the cap. You have your sound button or the disc that is in the middle and that's actually what vibrates and hits your, um, your neck. Then you have your um, foam ring. So there are many items that you can use to try to change out the foam ring. You have a screwdriver, toothpick or a paper clip, even a pen cap, cuticle pusher, or a business card. So a quick demonstration on how to replace those. First thing you want to do is take the two, uh, the, the sound button and the foam ring. Around the sound button, you will see that there is a ridge that the foam will actually fit into. So what you're going to do, go ahead and put the foam all the way around that and evenly disperse. So it's gonna look something similar to that. And again, I'm gonna show you the body cap. On the inside of the body cap, there is a little ridge that matches the ridge that is located on the sound button. And again, that is where the foam is going to sit in and settle in. So essentially what you're gonna do, you will put part of the foam at an angle from the top into that little ridge. Now you only get about maybe 20% of the foam, maybe 25% in that uh, little cutout and you will then use your tools to do the rest so uh, for example a screwdriver you can slowly using the edges press in the foam for a paper clip you can straighten out the paper clip and this is, goes for a, a toothpick as well now the one thing to, to note is that you do not want to use the points of any of these tools, you always want to use the side. The point will damage the foam ring, and uh, that's not what we want. You can use the side of this, slowly guide it in. Again, pen cap, same thing, slowly guide it in there just to get it settled. Small amount in, cuticle busher. Again, you'll see it start to guide in there. And last but not least, a business card. You can just use just the sides. Do not use the point, but the sides to guide the remaining of it in. Now, once you get it to this point, you do not need to have it 100% in there, but as long as most of it is in, you can then pinch just the button like this, give the body cap a twist. That lets all the foam settle, and then you have the foam looking like that, and you are ready to go from there. And that is how you change out the foam ring.